Well, Crusher, how was the uh, holiday season? It was great. It was great. Nice to spend time with family and uh, get a little rest. So uh, Christmas is always a good time of year. Now, you know, I mean, you play kind of close to your hometown, but was this the closest? Was this? Did it make it a little bit easier playing now here in Detroit? Yeah, for sure. Um, this is definitely the closest. Um, would have liked to have a bunch of family down, but the weather kind of stopped that from happening. So um, just whoever was really close over in Windsor uh, came over and um, got together with them. So nice to see family. How much weight did you put on during this break? <laughs> Um, zero. I'm about to get in the sauna, so it'll be uh, it'll be all gone by the time we get out of here. So you don't load up on anything like you know, like some family tradition of like something that's like 1,800 calories. Uh, no, not really. There's uh, a brie, a brie cheese that my wife likes to make. That's pretty heavy, but I kind of learned my lesson the hard way when I was a young guy, not to go too overboard with the food. So. Um, you enjoy yourself, but you, you make sure you take care of your job, too. You know, this is the time of year where I think people just naturally get somewhat reflective. You know, take a break, kind of, you know, assess your life and all that kind of stuff. How different is it for an athlete? I mean, do you, do you, do you get, like, recommitted? Not that you're not committed, or you look at the situation and say, regardless of where we're at, we've got a lot of season ahead of us. And yeah, it's yeah, I know. like, kind of reapply ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you get a little break and refresher you can kind of reflect and, and um, analyze what you've been doing and um, it's nice for everyone to kind of get away and then and do that and, and realize what we got to do and how much work we got ahead of us so um, it's a good time to, to reset and get get going here you know when you look at this schedule it's kind of weird and it's been weird at the whole time after these two games the next six out of seven you play at home it is the way the schedule is is it just conducive to you got to win your home games, right? Yeah, I just think that's that's just the league. I mean, um, you can see kind of the top, say, 10, 11 teams in the conference are all pretty tight together for the most part, outside of, you know, maybe Boston's kind of taken off here. But um, everyone's tight together. You got to win every night, and especially on home ice. You know, you're playing with Mo a lot. Um, have you picked up any German at all? Any German. Moda means tired. Um, we got to work on it. We uh, got to pick his brain a little more on the yeah, German. English is great. I mean, we talk about all kinds of German cars and German uh, cities, and um, it's pretty cool hearing, hearing the different things. So, Have you uh, been to Germany? Never, no. No? No. Soon, though. We'll go see Mo. Maybe we'll do some training in the summer together. Uh, finally, um, how important, what has it been like, your adaption here to Detroit and playing yeah. here? I know you've played here before, but only as the acquisition. How's the uh, transition going for you and your family? Been great, been great. I love it. Um, obviously, the facilities we have down here, first class, a uh, good group of you know guys, young team, kind of on the rise. Uh, family loves it, beautiful area. Um, really happy.